dealing with the water leak has proved uh, problematic I suppose and uh, it's all to do with the accessibility of the the two-way joint um, just a reminder here's a, a little picture of that two-way joint so it's one pipe and then goes in out to two and they are just pretty standard push fit joints and under normal circumstances I'd say they would never come loose so you know you, you put the pipe in and it slots into place and the more you pull it the less it wants to come out so that should never ever have come loose but um, I'm very pleased to say that I have managed to relocate that joint um, took a little bit of doing and a little bit of uh, back breaking uh, leaning over the, uh, the, the garage entrance and uh, getting my arm down there um, working one-handed <laughs> by the way to make sure that it's a, it's a bit of a weird thing because on the the joint itself where the pipe goes in there's a little collet that you push in to pull the pipe out that sort of makes it release um, so it's a bit weird um, sort of when you get those two pipes there's two pipes at the far end and you push that on and then you're trying to hold it and push it on but you're pressing the release button as well um, so that's a bit weird so I thought I got it on connected all the pump up switched it on absolutely pouring out again so you know I'm, I'm, I'm sort of still got a pain in my back from leaning over this step but let me show you a bit more detail of where it is and how I accessed it and got it on let's go and have a look so just inside the garage door um, you've got the the boiler here this is the Truma uh, boiler the hot air ducting which I've had sort of taped out of the way with that bit of bit of uh, gaffer tape there or gorilla tape um, I've, got to, I've got to put all these back into place at some point um, but right up there and you may I may you may not have seen this before but that little white connector uh, just at the end of the blue pipe there that was the offending part and you'll see all the the water droplets from the leak around there I've dried up as much as I can I'll probably have another go at that but you'll also see just here um, that this pipe is pretty tight around that bend it there's no sort of room for it to move or um, it's a pretty I think I think essentially this bit of pipe here the um, the one that feeds from the pump out to that white connector is um, maybe a quarter of an inch too short um, you know I've heard of penny pinching but that's a bit too much <laughs> you know that pipe could have been that pipe could have come all the way out to here um, and then for the for the push fit to go on so you know maybe the pipe should have been proud of this uh, bit of fairing here um, but what I did was I took this joint off and then pulled the white uh, connector out connected this blue pipe this blue pipe here and then use the blue pipe to um, push from this end so um, let me show you the contortions that I had to get into so to get to this uh, pipe I've had to actually go because if I go in forwards um, I'm, I'm losing that arm so I've had to go in backwards like this and sort of support myself here and get my arms in to um, <coughs> well <laughs> little bit of a panic there because I thought there was another leak because the pump started to run uh, called to Wendy uh, just in case she had a tap running 
um, and just to make sure that everything was alright but she hadn't turned the taps on but the water was still running but what I'd done is there's a little um, inside there where I was laying down and showing you how I got my arms in there's a little heater dump valve there <laughs> that if you push that down it dumps all the water in the system uh, in the heater and uh, then of course if you've got the pump on it will try and fill it up <laughs> so, so that's all that, that was I absolutely panicked because I thought that what I'd done is um, when I was pulling the pipes this way um, I might have loosened one in the bedroom above floor level of course that would never do uh, getting leaks above floor level or inside um, would tend to sort of dampen uh, the, the entire van which you never want do you but um, there you are so it's that little uh, that little connector and I think the the uh, the pipe could be a bit longer on there um, you know I don't know whether they I don't know whether they have the pipes ready cut or whether the engineers just snip them to to the right um, the right length or whatever length they feel but what I did notice is um, when I checked out online on YouTube how these push fit things work there's uh, there's the pipe and there's the the connector but the pipe usually has certainly on the on the better ones it usually has an insert that um, sort of strengthens it's a plastic input so it strengthens the pipe and makes a firm connection as as you go in sort of adds to the whole integrity of the thing these pipes none of that so it's really really uh, disappointing I suppose that these motorhomes can't spend another five quid um, on getting you know for the small amount of connections that there are maybe there's like 10 10 or 15 and these little plastic inserts can't be more than about 30 pence each you know so another fiver um, probably at retail would would actually strengthen all that up but you know motorhome manufacturers out there are all about the penny pinching aren't they but there you go I fixed it we're water flowing again and uh, well I feel pretty pleased because I think if I'd put that into a into a workshop for the half an hour probably at 90 or 100 pounds an hour um, it would have it would have cost me like 50 quid plus they probably would have supplied a new part at a tenner or something like that so it would have been you know 100 150 quid maybe i don't know anyway so i'm very pleased that i was able to fix that um and sort of bolster up my confidence in diy for motorhomes that's it for today hope you've enjoyed that give us a thumbs up um if you've enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon so that you get reminders for whenever we upload a new video I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.